Yeah, this is this is really big. The world's biggest Nashville hot chicken sandwich. That is what we're trying today, everybody. We're gonna be in San Antonio, Texas at a place called Pete's Hot Chicken, which is actually a food truck in a little kind of cool area called El Camino. So it's like a group of food trucks. And this thing is massive. You have no clue. All right, so I've heard rumor this thing is like eight to 10 pounds. Um, and it is, but based on the pictures, I don't even know how big it could be. But anyway, it is a absolutely giant, giant, giant chicken sandwich. It has these massive brioche buns. They look like they're like two inches thick. Um, it has a number of hot chicken, Nashville hot chicken pieces on it. I know there's a whole bunch of their award-winning macaroni and cheese. There is a whole bunch of bacon. There's all this comeback sauce, they call it, which is like a a mayonnaise, a flavored mayonnaise, I know there's pickles. This thing is undefeated and you only have 30 minutes to do it, like to actually complete the challenge. So I think that's why, like this is absolutely intense. Chicken is hard to eat. It's like, again, if it's 10 pounds, that is so nuts in 30 minutes. But anyway, um, I think that's pretty much the majority of the info. But like we said, guys, this looks absolutely huge. I'm sure it'll be pretty spicy. If you're not familiar, Nashville hot chicken is hot spicy chicken. And uh, that's about that. I got no other words. Giant Nashville hot chicken, undefeated. Let's go see if we can complete this challenge. Let's get rocking. All right, Ron, so here we are with the hot mess. This is absolutely the most insane sandwich I've ever seen. Guys, we have about four pounds of chicken. We have, I think it's a pound and a half of mac and cheese. We have eight ounces of bacon, plus a two pound bun. This thing is nuts. The bun was made locally at a bakery. It's called the Bread Box. It's very well known. It's supposed to be brioche, whereas the standard generally comes actually on a King's Hawaiian. I love King's Hawaiian. Let me know if you guys like King's Hawaiian down below. With that, guys, yeah, that's about it. It looks great. It smells spicy, but looks delicious. The biggest, the world's biggest Nashville hot chicken sandwich, guys, is about to go down. So with that, let's get started here just momentarily. Definitely is a big, big, big sandwich. Um, that being said, $80 if we fail. So I'm gonna take this top bun off. Again, we have a literal pile of mac and cheese back here. It's what the camera is not showing. Plus like literally just pounds of bacon. I'm probably gonna try to start with uh, probably the, uh, uh, the, the chicken and we'll go from there. So how do we get started? We'll say, can I take the bacon off before I start? Right, I'm gonna move this bacon. We'll save that for last. Holy crap, that's a lot of mac and cheese. Woo, all right. It is award winning though. So let's see, let me find a tender somewhere. Uh, there we go, this one's got here, and oh, it's still nice and hot. We have, there are pickles under here too, the house make their pickles, so. Got some flies, we're gonna be sharing some extra protein today, guys. So how about we get started, we'll say the count of maybe five, four, three, two, one, let us eat. Mm. Oh yeah, that is Nashville. That comeback sauce on there. Very rich. Very, very rich. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Also, shout out to the staff. Savvy are awesome. Try a pickle. Mm. Good pickle. Bread and butter. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're here in San Antonio, Texas, the lovely San Antonio, Texas, taking on the world's biggest Nashville hot chicken sandwich. And this thing was so big. A little bit of spiciness actually. Good kick. So this is one of those items where unless you're there to see it, like the camera just does not do it justice. How big this thing was, how much chicken was on that thing, how big those buns were. Um, and let's just say this thing was much bigger than I expected. And let me tell you about that. Way bigger than I just did. Yeah. 
Make some crispy chicken. So prior to arrival, I kind of heard it was one size. When I arrived, clarified the gentleman said it was going to be quite a bit bigger than that. And then turns out the final product was even bigger than the proposed weight. So it was huge. I'm going to need some Tums after this one. We'll kind of get into it a little bit more as you see it continue on. But I got to say, I think there was much more than four pounds of chicken on this. Um, it was crazy how much bacon was really on this sandwich also because that bacon, like that was a cooked weight. So that was, I'd say, like an uncooked pound of bacon at minimum. The buns, especially the bottom bun was like, I'd say probably an inch and a half, like maybe even inch and three quarters thick. Now when it came to the flavors of the chicken, I do have to say, honestly, this was probably some of the most flavorful um, Nashville hot chicken I've ever had. Um, there's just so much like spices in this. Um, and while we went with, I think it was like the medium spice or whatever, it was so much spicier than I would have anticipated. But it regards the spiciness, there is so much flavor, so much spices. And I really did like the flavor of the chicken. Huge piece of chicken too. Oh, I just realized I messed up my settings on my camera. So although it definitely already was the biggest Nashville hot chicken sandwich, I can say with full 100% confidence this is absolutely the world's, world's, world's biggest, biggest Nashville chicken sandwich. Can you even grab my phone right here? We're going to change things, guys. If you're not familiar with Nashville hot chicken is, it is a fried chicken dredged in a seasoned oil and then additional seasons are generally shaken onto it. We're going? Alright, let's change this camera. I'm trying not to get everything covered in natural. Thank you. You can you taste the bag you want. I just need to. Yeah. I'm just letting everybody know this is legit. There we go. Try to not have the oily, greasy hands. Napkins are definitely essential. So it is definitely a rich, it is definitely a heavy food, but nice and spicy, nice and flavorful, nice and delicious. Half working glove, but we're back in action. Let's keep this up, guys. This is a lot of chicken. But I believe that's pretty much all the info for today. They are nice and hot down below. Out of curiosity, what is that? So it's our hot mess. But then everybody, let's see if one man can complete this giant sandwich, and ultimately let's tune on in and see what happens. Yeah, and you guys don't have to be dead quiet or anything either. I swear guys, they tried to kill me here. This is huge. That's massive. That's like eight ounces. Oh, there's 12 of those on here. Holy crap. Hot chicken. Hot chicken. What are the pickles are though? This bun's gonna be the death of us, that's for sure. How are we doing for time, my friend? Seven and a half minutes. Crazy, everybody. Finally down the last piece of chicken. Woo. Absolute pile of mac here. Pickles in those buns, guys. This is gonna be, uh... we're in for a ride, we'll put it that way. So now, their chicken, Mac sandwich is like a secret-ish menu item, so.
special tip. I don't even know what I should hit first. I guess just Mac and then the bread. Yeah, we uh, we were winning for just lock. Very rich. Very creamy. With the pickles, I love it. It's like a creamy acidic thing. Stack of napkins, a whole row. Well, it looks like a line of them there, so that's nice. Ooh, almost through the Mac, guys. Ain't no short Joe there. All right, everybody. A bit over 13 minutes in. We are buns and bacon. Oh. This thing is giant. They say everything is bigger in Texas. They ain't kidding. And literally, the world's biggest Nashville hot chicken sandwich is actually massive. I'm dying. Excuse me. Comments to the chef, though. Excuse me. Comments again. I really enjoyed that chicken. Oh, three times a charm. All right. Pile of bacon. I'm gonna get on some of these buns though. This is definitely what's gonna put us in the grave, if anything, so. Let's right, see what we can do, guys. Big old, big old brioche. And it is toasted. Big bun. Let me have your big buns down below. A nice jag. This kind of brioche bun. Medium bun. Say it's a warm day out. Especially when you're eating this much food. Let's go get some ice action going here. Woo. A little bit of sweetness on that bun. Nice addition. We're at seventeen and a half minutes in. Nashville chicken and chill. I don't think I've ever said that one before. Woo! Definitely, definitely, definitely a big one. That being said, we're down to this bottom bun. Load of bacon. Maybe I'll try to make like a bacon sandwich here. Oh my gosh, guys. That is, this is nuts. This is huge. My lord, this bottom bun is, that's like over an inch thick. That is a, uh, I actually don't know if I can eat that like a taco. Crazy. Mm. But bacon sandwich. Guys, bacon is, I mean, is there anything it's really not good on? Like I said, let me know down below. And if you made it to this point in the video, first off, thank you so much. I appreciate you just not skipping through it. And let's play a joke on the skippers for those who did just skip through the video. Comment down below something about me taking my shirt off. Maybe like, Joel, put some clothes on. Or, yes, Joel, take your shirt off more often. Whatever you guys want, have fun with it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for commenting. And thank you for subscribing. And that, let's get back to it.
Maybe halfway. Wow. Bacon. Buns. Brioche. finished there. 27 minutes on the dot. Was that when I swallowed or when I, uh, when I swallowed? There you go guys. So that was a heck of a challenge. Way bigger than I anticipated. But I want to give a huge thanks to everybody here Pete. Guys, definitely some good chicken. I really enjoyed the chicken. Very, very, very tasty. This is a massive, 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 massive sandwich. But if you're in San Antonio, definitely stop on by guys. Try one of their more normal sized sandwiches. That is definitely a good call. No one needs to eat this much. This is way too big. I literally think that could probably feed like minimum 10 to 12 people. That was nuts. Just nuts. So that everyone, of course, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. And that, have yourself a lovely day. And we made it to the Alamo, guys. We were in San Antonio, Texas. Briefly, the history. Basically, soldier with 200 men held off several thousand uh, Mexican forces for a few weeks, which is pretty impressive. But we're gonna go check it on out, see what this Alamo is all about. Apparently, there's like a church and this compound and whatever. So, pretty cool, the Alamo. So we kind of missed it. I guess the Alamo is closed. We literally just missed some people entering in. But nonetheless, we're gonna come on back. And we will see the Alamo at some point. And right beside the Alamo, we have this great big statue, which is really cool. Uh, some like, I don't know, has to do, well, anyway, what it says on this, from the fire that burned their bodies rose, the eternal soul of sublime heroic sacrifice, which gave birth to an empire state. So pretty cool. Talking about the Texas Republic, the war and all that stuff. And then over here on the side, there is many a names and many a people. But yeah, this is cool. I like it a lot, actually. And then there's some beautiful building behind it. Do you know what that is? Um, that's actually and their offices, and that's where San Antonio Express chooses. Wow, well, beautiful looking offices, obviously old buildings. And kind of just down here, in this downtown portion of San Antonio, close to Riverwalk, is that fair to say? Close to the river. So San, Anto uh, San Antonio's history is also like haunted-ishness. So we have Crockett Hotel, and then we have this Menger. This is a very famous hotel known for having haunted rooms. I think specifically on the third and fourth floor. It looks very modern on the outside, but on the inside, apparently it looks like, what is it, The Shining? So straight out of The Shining. We're here with our good friend, Steph, by the way. Hello. Lovely local showing us around, making sure we see the sights of the beautiful San Antonio, and apparently the haunted. History, which was a big haunt of history in San Antonio too. And here we have a big San Antonio monument, very popular in photos. Some more of the lovely looking downtown. 
Yeah. What's that big building over there? The big tall That's one. That's the Tower of America. The Tower of Americas. Maybe we'll get over there at some point too. Yeah. And here we have an area called La Vaita, which is shops and dining and all kinds of cool things. I love it. Apparently they have great big uh, festivals here in March and April. And let's see what it all looks like. It's, uh, it's very pretty. It looks very uh, up and coming. And yeah, little shops. Looks like a pleasant area to spend an afternoon or evening. I dig it. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.